Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to Tony's Take. All right, so this show had previously been on the coalition, but since we want to start growing the channel more here, the Throwdown channel, we decided, hey, let's bring this over here and see what happens, see how you guys like it. So for you who may not know, I'm just going to give you a quick introduction to Tony's Take, and then we're going to get into the lead topic here, because the lead topic is very interesting. So basically, Tony's Take is like me reacting to news that just drops right like usually for throwdown obviously since we go on every thursday and then every sunday for throwdown your questions you know it takes a little while for us to you know cover the news that happened that week right tony's take is basically i instantly react to whatever just dropped right um just bite side stuff you know no, i'm gonna try to make these videos not any longer than like 10 minutes they'll probably mostly be five minutes long um, I don't know how long this video is going to be because I'm obviously just recording it now. But yeah, they're going to be just bite-sized things where I just quickly react to something. And then, you know, these same topics will probably be, be brought up again on the regular throwdown. You know, so you can hear everybody else's take on it. But yeah, that let's... Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I, need, I don't need to explain this anymore. Tony's take literally is right there. Tony's take on shit. All right, so let's get into it. So right now, I just got a link to an article from Gaming Bolt where they said some ooh, again this is very interesting i gotta calm myself that is like craziness and i've also had coffee and i haven't taken a piss yet so i'm a little bit wired up right now okay so phil spencer head of xbox is telling people not to pre-order the scorpio again i'm going to repeat phil spencer the guy who runs xbox is telling people not to pre-order the xbox scorpio Think about that, right? Okay, now he says like, hey, you know, it's better for, uh, you know, customers to see what we have to deliver and then they can pre-order at that time, right? Now, you know, some sites, including Gaming Bolt right here, which I I'll have in the description below, they say that this is a good move by Phil Spencer. You know, it's like very pro-consumer, all that stuff. He's just looking out for people, right? Yeah, I mean, you can see it that way, but when I read it, I saw it a totally different way. It, to me... It kind of seems like perhaps Microsoft is maybe losing faith in the Scorpio, right? And I'm not just taking this statement, you know, in a vacuum. I'm looking at everything else that's been going on with the Scorpio, right? Let's go back a little bit. When the Scorpio was first announced, it was touted as the ultimate 4K uh, gaming machine. A true native 4K gaming machine, right? Not like the, the, the Pro, which is has upscaling and all that, right? Microsoft touted it as that fanboys even went so far as to saying that it's going to deliver uncompromised 4k and 60 frames a second right so microsoft kind of already set this thing up as being like the the most powerful console of all time they flat out said that and obviously the fan base is running with that and exaggerating even further right and also at the time microsoft came out saying hey this is going to be a premium price console right premium price means expensive right so that's what we learned about scorpio at the beginning in the months since then yeah it's been it's oh actually it's almost been a like almost a year it's crazy but in the months since then microsoft has seemed to tone that language down a little bit right i know um a few months ago phil spencer said something about how it's really all about um a balance right it's not all about not all about like pure horsepower i'm like that's interesting because i thought it was all about horsepower with the scorpio right they toned that language down, and now last week they had said that not every game is going to be running at 4K native, right? So I'm like, okay, you're backing away from that. And I've also noticed that they're not talking about premium consoles anymore. It's just the Scorpio, right? So, and now you have this latest thing telling people not to pre-order a Scorpio. It paints an interesting picture if you choose to look at it from a certain perspective. This is what I'm thinking, and I know some of you guys are going to call me a sony pony but i'm gonna get called that anyway so whatever this is what i think is going on right i think microsoft is seeing the success of the playstation 4 pro and going you know what let's let's go along with that right like it seems that people are willing to buy a system that's not true native 4k and you know if it's cheap right so again and now this is the part of the video where i go into speculation and i and it is speculation because again the, at this point the scorpio is just vaporware right that means it doesn't exist yet i think microsoft is kind of toning down the power of the scorpio in order to make it more um like not more to make it uh, uh you know like affordable basically because again if you're going to release a premium you know console like and i said this in a previous tony's take on the coalition 
it's gonna have to be between 500 and possibly even 700 dollars right but i don't think microsoft you know can release a console that expensive right and have it fly off shelves i think the scorpio may actually be 400 dollars at launch now but 400 dollars you're gonna have to scale that shit back i know it's still gonna have the six teraflops and all that but remember six teraflops still has to account for a number of other things in there it's not just graphics alone it has to do a bunch of other shit right so i think i can't i don't want to say um you know again i'm trying to choose my words here correctly but i don't want to say it's been uh, like um downscaled or whatever uh, downgraded that's what i'm looking for right i don't i'm not going to say the scorpio has been downgraded but maybe all that horsepower they originally originally wanted to have in this thing may not be in there it's still going to be a powerful console it, it'll probably be technically the most powerful console release at its time which should be this fall it'll be certainly more powerful than the playstation 4 pro but i don't think it's going to be this beast machine that a lot of people especially the xbox are claiming it's going to be it's not going to be like this revolutionary thing you know it's it's an interesting time in gaming man but yeah this statement right here that you know telling people not to pre-order scorpio very weird to hear from the head of a person that runs the gaming division of a company right it could be pro consumer or it could be them losing faith in the console i have absolutely no idea but we shall see um i think that pretty much does it for this video so this again this is the first tony's take on throwdown i hope you guys enjoyed the video please let me know what you think you know if, how you like the format and all that and you know if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel hit like on this video you can even hit unlike on this video as long as you react and i definitely want to hear those comments for sure so that's going to do it for me once again i was tony make sure to check out throwdown every thursday at 10 30 p.m eastern and throw down your questions every sunday at 10 30 p.m eastern then of course you could always watch the episodes after that you know when they go after they've gone live and of course check us out on soundcloud itunes and all that other shit all right tony once again i'll see y'all later peace